Hey everybody, thanks for coming by the channel. My name is Dustin and normally I find rocks, but today I'm gonna do an experiment and see if I can turn some rocks pink. This is a rock that I found a while back. Um, my uh, rock hounding Missouri hardcore video, I think. I think that uh, the pink color in this piece comes from fire. So in this video, I'm going to repair my fire pit and see if we can turn some crystals pink. Let's do it. So we just had a lot of work done on our yard. This was our fire pit. I'm gonna try and repair that today and I'm gonna bury some rocks in there, cover them up with a little bit of sand and see if we can turn them pink like this. Cause it looks like something funky happened to this rock. I don't believe it's natural. I don't know if we're going to be successful in this experiment, but we're going to try. I'm going to get to work. So I would like to take a moment and thank the subscriber whose name I can't remember and I can't find because it was commenting on another video who encouraged me to try this little project that I mentioned trying quite a while ago, like maybe a year. If you have any similar weird projects that you're itching to try, I encourage you to just do it, because if you don't try, you'll never know. So let's see if we can get those crystals to turn pink. I am curious. All right, well, I'm making some progress. I got a little kind of flat spot cleared out. Ta-da! I think we're off to a good start here. I've got some rocks stacked around the edge here. And you can see I grabbed a couple just random pieces to kind of give you an idea of what's gonna happen here. We will put the rocks, the agate and crystals in the bottom there. I'm thinking like I'll do maybe a layer of sand or gravel, maybe not, and then cover them up with a thin layer of sand or gravel and then build a big old fire on top of here and see what happens. But first, we gotta go get some sand, man. Man, to the people that said $30 for a five gallon bucket at Haunted Ridge was a ripoff. 13 bucks and $12 for some beach cobbles. I mean, whatever. I need to find some sand here. It's gotta be around here somewhere. Okay, now we're talking. All right, 478. How much is it for this gravel? Ooh, 398, pea gravel's cheaper. I'm thinking I might get a bag of each. All right, so here's everything I picked out to try for this little experiment. We have a good variety of stuff. Hopefully all this will fit. I'm gonna try some of the root beer quartz, a piece that's been a little beaten up. So we'll see what happens there. This piece I cleaned with muriatic acid a long time ago and it didn't go well. And I got it to turn out better with iron out, but I don't know, it still just looks kind of funky. So since this piece already has a sordid history, might as well try this too. I have some that I think might turn out really cool if this works. So I'm gonna arrange all these. I think I'm gonna pile some sand underneath them and then put some on top. We'll see. Here we go. All right, it is all there. So I'm just gonna kinda put some sand over the top of it so that it's not in direct contact with the fire. I'm just gonna kind of pack it on there. I don't want it to be too thick, but I don't want it to be too little either. Anyway, I'll show you when I have a nice little sand castle here. Okay, I got it all covered up. It only took half that bag of sand, so I'm glad I just bought the one bag of sand and not the bag of sand and gravel like I was thinking. Of course, I guess I could always try more, but since this is an experiment and either nothing 
may happen or I may ruin these rocks. I'm just going to do that. Now it's time to go and find some firewood. All right, ready to go here. Not gonna lie, collecting uh, all this firewood, uh, brawny, bare knuckle, lumberjack style, took the most time. But we are ready to go here. It's a little damp and this wood's a little damp, so I'm going to use the old fire starter trick here because I want this to burn really hot. So I'm gonna sprinkle this kind of liberally here and start it up. Okay. Here we go. Got some starter paper here. Man, I hope this works. And I hope I'm successful here. That wood is pretty damp. Hopefully it'll get warm. I used some cedar and some pine wood. We'll see here. Just have to check on that in a few days and dig those up out of the ashes. All right, a little more time has passed and I think we're doing pretty good. I don't know if it's gonna burn long enough or hot enough to do anything to these rocks, but I think I got a good hot fire there. It's gonna have a nice hot coal bed over that sand where I put those rocks, so. Let's hope something happens. All right, got a nice bed of coals going. I'm just gonna let that burn out and check on them in a couple days. It is two days later and I am currently in Illinois. Missouri is back over there. My house is way that way. But I wanted to show you some of these rocks down here by the river. Notice that they are red. We think that these were burned in fire and that's what turned them red. So we're out here today looking for trilobites, but I just wanted to show you these red rocks because I think that bolsters my case of heat turns things red. This one's really cool. I think it's got some burrow fossils in it. So there you go, red rock. So there's some more red rocks that I think were turned red by fire. Let me know in the comments what you think. A little preview of my next video with Jeff Hunting Rocks channel looking for trilobites. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and Hunting Rocks. All right, it has been two days. I think things went pretty well. I don't know, I can see here one of the rocks, the sand kind of came off a little bit and it got charred. So I hope we're okay here. I'm gonna uncover them and see what we got. Okay. Let's see. Oh man, it doesn't look like much happened to these. I'm not seeing a change, not in that one anyway. Well, wah, wah, wah. I have a few slightly charred rocks now. The good news is I don't think I ruined anything. I didn't improve upon it. Nothing turned pink, definitely. So that's a disappointment. But at least now I know. I may try this experiment again in the future, like if I have access to an oven but this did a bunch of nothing. I'd be better off just leaving these rocks alone. Some of them absolutely nothing happened to, like this one. And then others like this just got slightly charred. So overall, not a very productive experiment, but I guess at least we learned so now you know that will not work. Thanks for watching, everybody. Rock on.